Hi guys, welcome to part 19 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Enough with new buildings, new gardens, new everything. Especially because I don't have any more space left and it is almost mid-November. This little baby here should be already finished, but it's not. I must consolidate dozens of tasks still open and I will be doing that all along this part 19. Obviously I will not have time to complete all of them, plus some other things, lamps, cobblestones and this little closet slash cabinet here. You don't remember it? Let me switch to the other camera guys. I'm here guys, hello, I was saying this little cabinet or closet, call it whatever you want, the one that I placed under the market stall, that it is not a market stall, more than a month ago, and that now feels extremely lonely, my bad. No one addressed any attention to him during all this time. I must complete this section. I must reveal the section finally, the essence, the soul of this section. And I will also write something on this post here, guys. Uh, many things will be added there. I will add many things. Uh, I painted all along this week between 25 to 30 between uh, figurines and props. But finally it will be populated and I think finished at some point during this part 19, maybe towards the end. But I must concentrate there, lamps, cobblestones, not real but printed cobblestones, because uh, I need to finish the center, the middle. The, the part that are not accessible easily from the perimeter, guys. So I will be doing that. Maybe you are noticing that I added a layer of light grey to the chapel there, plus some of the things that I will show you in the next minutes. But I must work there, uh, wires, etc. And then, and then uh, the cathedral that <laughs> you aren't seeing is not attached. Uh, still to be painted. I will leave it as last task open. Uh, so let me switch to the other camera once again guys because enough talking, enough annoying you. Let's really start this part 19 right now.
Final recap of part 19 of the 2023 series and once again I'm starting from this section here the cloister garden and chapel section I've completed almost everything I needed for this little section here I even added some uh, figurines uh, to uh, couples uh, on the park bench there and the one I love most of all figurines and the two young people kissing there and the old lady reading on the bench there the lights are there and also the freeze there and the little let's go like that the little um, flag there not very little but the flag is there guys and now uh, all the lights are switched on uh, three volt street lamps there and those little ones there are 4.5 volts that's the reason why I had to use two different AC adapter and on the back I added a little tree there not completely finished but the big uh, work uh, is finished and uh, uh, even there the street lamps are there I've also added some more leaves uh, in part 18 there were, there were only red leaves I added some yellow leaves because uh, fall to winter um, leaves are not always all red or all yellow yeah mm, they have uh, many many different colors I also added some leaves on the uh, on the bench there etc uh, and they are glued there okay so they don't move even those ones are uh, glued together some white on the hedge rows there on the edges uh, and the statues or oh, maybe Odin is not perfectly aligned like that uh, even the pub and Lucy's chocolate shop are connected to the AC adapter not the switched on the light here is switching on and even the one behind I don't know if I can get you the light there no but under there there is the light and it is switched on nothing changed here on the ferry wheel level but I will add some stands here and there uh, what else what else here uh, nothing has changed really completed the cobblestones there are still some free uh, spots left but I will add uh, the snow and then the canal fence is here just to test maybe I will leave this little Louisville figurine there the little crane there with the boy or the young man actually in the crane simply because the big one that I've removed uh, was preventing the point of view from this point here uh, from this point here no way to see what I will be adding there some trees or some other uh, scenes to giant crane maybe I will uh, use that one or maybe I will model 3d model and uh, replace the big crane with a uh, smaller one uh, I've also connected uh, the uh, lighthouse and uh, lighthouse keeper house uh, to the um, AC adapter all the wires are masked under everything as I always do maybe that giant lamp there has a very very bright LED it is the first time I'm using that LED that type of LED and it is absolutely very bright with just that LED I have the widest range even possible uh, illuminated by the lamp so no need to add uh, another street lamp there 
those three ones will be enough here uh, and you have seen uh, during my the testing uh, uh, the testing that this uh, section here is completely in the dark maybe when i will switch on uh, this street lamp here this viking street lamp here the lantern there because those are really street lamps with uh, fixed uh, led inside those one are flickering so these are more some lanterns and those are uh, really street lamps maybe when i will uh, switch on uh, this uh, um, lantern here something will change but here completely in the dark i will add an, another street lamp there to get lights in, towards the, that direction towards the stairs but i don't think it will be enough so i will have to try to figure out uh, a solution there because i don't want these i know this is plain c and during the night no need to see what is happening there but mm, i don't know maybe it's better if i place some other lights then i wanted to place something there between the stairs and the arcade part of the chapel i still don't know what plenty of space here to add all my figurines a good part of all my figurines and big intense work there but the art work it is finished i will just have fun from now on adding some trees adding some figurines etc uh, let's get towards the important part there hello are you there yes i am here uh, guys that is the point of view of this section here guys the point of view and i will let you read correctly what i wrote there today laundry guys okay what i modeled and printed and painted a big giant sink with some dirty clothes to clean um the, some soap even some heater for some hot water then i painted it everything and then i've uh, also added a layer of medium uh, gloss an ironing board board sorry guys ironing board i know maybe it is too modern for 18 uh, and 1800 century Victorian um, Viking village but I don't think uh, it's exaggerate I wanted to something that could remember a laundry and why not an ironing board with some antique uh, iron sorry guys a little problem with the camera i was saying uh, not too exaggerated at least for me to have such an ironing board um, such a modern ironing board in victorian era but the iron there is an ancient iron it is supposed to, to work with some coal with some carbon inside uh, this one but the other one that I placed on the stove and it is an ancient stove guys we told the other irons there uh, getting hot and instead of using this one that it is very very old you can use, you can use some of the those modern ones that are heated all around the stove plus one here on top with some hot water and then uh, something else maybe something to eat for uh, the uh, laundry manager for the laundry manager or uh, everything else also there uh, a ringer guys a ringer or also a washing a mechanical washing machine if you place the uh, the top here you can uh, wash or uh, clean the clothes and then this is the ringer okay and uh, so a ringer an ancient ringer plain wood here some copper and you uh, turn the um, uh, the mechanism and the uh, clothes there get uh, 
uh, bring it okay uh, there guys <laughs> the lady in charge of everything and I've tried to model air as Nordic as um, Viking as possible okay and maybe I can show you the model more closely okay like that uh, with <laughs> Uh, hair washing some clothes inside uh, the water and this is a big Nordic and Viking woman okay and I've tried to get the same color for um, these uh, uh, big uh, washing set there and the stove there okay so this is the lady in charge of uh, washing everything you have already seen also today laundry why today because my idea and that's why if i place it this so close to the perimeter during the season if you have some more scenes you can change them you you can have i don't know um, a fruit seller there a pottery maker there and you can change uh, one week the laundry or one day the laundry and the next day during the last days of uh, uh, of holidays you can change it every day it is very close to the perimeter so you can change if you have some more figurines or if you have uh, other scenes ready you can easily change and that's why i mark there today laundry guys today laundry or today pottery or today fruit seller or today fish market and this can be a stall, a market stall for a real market place there or for anything else guys for everything you want and that's why I said never seen before a laundry I doubt you have ever seen it before on a Christmas village but you can change whatever you want this is a, um, a free zone for me it is <laughs> you don't want to have uh, people bored with all the same scenes you can change them and this is doable for every of the section even here you can change it or even there you just need to have the proper um, the proper uh, sets ready okay and then the little man there I forgot there very very viking very very red air okay uh, with a basket of dirty clothes on his shoulder some clean clothes uh, folded and iron head in his hands and a, a bag of money there the bag for the cash there okay and this is heavy so that's why i've uh, model it with his legs a little bended towards the uh, toward the floor this is the uh, the weight that is taking him towards the floor uh, expression there i've tried to have them with the same clothes the same um, working clothes red here for him and also red for her her the expression is a little more rude a little more intense a little more threatening because she is the woman in charge there and but this is his expression there okay uh, and once again from this point of view here guys okay this is the laundry set you have waited so long and maybe I will slide something here and there but everything is visible and here are some benches for the customers there okay and so I think it's there oh yes I you haven't seen the ironing board there but it's some modern design uh, done in plain wood there okay and i placed uh, the ironing board under 
the stall because if it's it is snowing it needs to be uh, ironing needs to be done in a dry and in a dry, uh, in a dry place okay the stove you have seen maybe I can show you a little details okay this is my vision of uh, a stove with the uh, irons all the irons there and I painted it blue dark blue blue navy with um, a big amount of iridescent silver because I wanted this to be pure metal okay guys so this is the result of the stove even for the for the stove and <laughs> everything is there guys so see you in some minutes for the outro yes maybe i had the feeling that this crane was too big for what i had in mind to place behind it so maybe it is also the reason why it is still unpainted and it is a pity to have to renounce to it because this took me three days to model and it is a summer and it is based on a real medieval human powered crane guys so it is functional and absolutely real and but now it will remain as a souvenir like that maybe i can really mention it and make it a little shorter a little smaller but that way it will lose its its visual impact so no guys i will try to find a shorter um, crane an idea for a shorter crane i will try to model something or maybe i will leave the louville figurine there instead of everything else but that louville figurine the crane is not reaching the boats so i don't think it is not, neither there that the correct solution i was really scared to work on the center and the middle section because it is unreachable from everywhere and it took me double the time to make all the wiring, to connect all the street lamps, uh, to check if everything was lighted in plain dark, to add the cobblestone and to verify everything, then to add the canal fences. Double the time. And I work with a completely stretched all the time. So maybe tomorrow, not tomorrow, in just three hours, my back will take me once again into hell because i'm old guys and my back is not the one it used to be 10 years ago um, but now i will have really fun to uh, complete the free space there with some uh, micro scenes with some figurines with maybe some little uh, street cars street um, market stores etc I don't know yet, but it will be very quick to complete there. Uh, still need to complete something also here, but it is reachable. Everything is reachable. So also I will go very quick there. The section finally revealed, guys. Uh, it's no more a secret. It's no more a mystery. I don't think, uh, no, I don't think someone figured out what I had in mind there. Everything was created around two weeks before I placed the closet there, the cabinet there. And now, let's call it with its proper name, the laundry section is ready. Please tell me if it is to exaggerate, but believe me, you will not find any section like that in any Christmas village. You are free to check everywhere around on every social media, a laundry section and an interchangeable section there. As I told you, you change the figurines, you change the, um, the, the little uh, writing on the uh, cart there, on the, on the post there, and you can have another section. And that's why I placed all the, the, that section and the other section on the perimeter. I can modify whenever I want, with whatever I want. My design, as you have seen, is always something 
dynamic uh, strike a pose of a dynamic instead of having some uh, Lemax figurines I don't have them right now they are in the other room but they are always too steady to doing nothing my figurines I tend to model my figurines uh, every time with something dynamic into them please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing guess what my absolutely awful english and see you next time for part 20 but only if you really wish bye guys